Ladies and gentlemen, you are requested to kindly find your seats. Good evening, sir. This way, please. My apologies. Evening, Haytham. Reginald? I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you seen it before? Once, my father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. Do you see him? Tom Gag. 40 pounds. Let me so I know I'll save her from the transportation. Be seated in one of the boxes above. The stairs are watched. You'll need to find another way up. And in truth, it is a pity to lose I already have. If none of the gang take her off, she may, in the common course of business, live at 12 months longer. I love to let women skate. A good sportsman always lets the end partridges fly, because the breed of the game depends on them. Besides, here the law allows us no reward. There's nothing to be got A thousand by the pardons. Women, oh, my apologies. I'm so sorry. Twas to her I was obliged for my education. And to say a bold word, she has trained up more young fellows to the business than the gaming table. Truly built. Thy observation is right. We and the surgeons are more beholden to women than all the professions besides. Sir, Black Paul has sent word of trial comes on in the afternoon, and she hopes you will order matters so as to bring off. As the wench is very active and industrious, you may satisfy her that I'll stop with the evidence. Tom Gay, sir, is found guilty. A lazy dog. When I took him the time before, I told him what he would come to if he did not bend his hand. This is death without reprieve. I may mention a book. Tom Gag. 40 pounds. Let me so I know I'll save her for the transportation. If I can get more of my stay in England. Then the other rock will do this into our lot here than any private game. And in truth, it is a pity to be so good a customer. Penitence may break his spirit ever after. Besides, I've certain to give the man a good air of his pride oh. and makes him risk another without fear or scruple. But all the way, it is a pleasure to be the messenger of comfort to friends in affliction. But it is now I time to look about me for a decent execution against next session. I ain't a lazy rogue by whom one can get a register of the game. Crook finger Jasper. Jeremy's really burning up in tears tonight. Let me see how much the stock is. One, two, three, four, five gold watches. And seven silver ones. A mighty clean dandy fellow. Sixteen snuff boxes. Five of them true gold. Six dozen of handkerchiefs. Four silver elephants.
Hatham. You should have come to me. You would have found another way. Yes. But then you would have known. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. As am I. And how was the opera? Rather dull, truth be told. <laughs> Shall we be off then? Aye. The fleet and bride. By your command. Fascinating. Gentlemen, I hold in my hand a key, and if this book is to be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that will be held within? It could contain certain knowledge, perhaps a weapon, or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. They are still an enigma, these precursors. But of one thing I am certain. Whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or our enemies, should they find it first. They won't. You've seen to that. I assume you know where this storehouse is. Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen. How fair are your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. 
were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command, although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at your side, you will want for nothing. Well, then I'd best be on my way. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. We booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. Go forth, Haytham, and bring honor to us all. <laughs>